The Saudi atrocities have been ongoing for years, an issue that has elicited condemnation from different quarters in the country. Women parliamentarians under the umbrella of Kewopa have condemned the atrocities befalling Kenyan girls in Saudi, with Kewopa chairperson Gadoni Wamushomba terming them inhumane due to the fatalities that come out of it. Oh, undi o faith, undi o faith. When you... This lady from Gedungori, Campbell County, left for Saudi full of life, but now she lives in a detention camp, paralyzed with no one to take care of her. She hails from a constituency that is represented by Gadoni Wamushomba. I have uh, two serious cases that are pending in Saudi Arabia. I have a girl, her name is Faith. She's hardly 25. She ran away from her station of work in Saudi Arabia. She went into a detention camp. She got a stroke and is almost 80% disabled. As we speak, it has been five months down the line. The girl is still stranded in Saudi Arabia. She's totally disabled. She cannot feed herself. She cannot take care of herself. And she has been hampered by somebody, a uh, good Samaritan. I'm joining my sisters in condemning the heart and also in saying we have a total ban of our girls because normally they are girls. We have a total ban of our girls being deployed in Saudi Arabia. I think to me, and this is my personal opinion, money is not as important as human life. We cannot trade money with human life. The Saudi atrocities are on the rise and now Kewopa wants all Gulf travel banned for good. The banning calls come when there are concerns of a clip circulating online of a woman being forced to breastfeed puppies. Kewopa is in disarray as this beastly act continues to elicit condemnation from Kenyans. Watoto wetu wanatezwa, wanapigwa, wananajisiwa. Imefika kiwango ambaye imekuwa shangao, imekuwa ni mshangao kwa sisi wote. Imefika kiwango ambaye wanalazimishwa kunyonyesha umbwa ama tuseme tu umbwa. Na hii si hii ni shida kwetu sisi wote. This is not a problem for the parents alone. It's not a problem to the relatives alone. Hii ni shida ambaye si inatuguza sisi wote kama viongozi ya Kenya, sisi kama kina mama ambaye tuko katika organization ya Keopa. Another case of atrocities in Saudi is portrayed clearly when photos of a Kenyan lady were circulating online. Her health was worsening day by day and she was rescued by Kenyan's outcry that mandated the Kenyan embassy to act. A case was witnessed in a few months when online photos of a Kenyan lady who was ill-treated and molested while working in Saudi Arabia went viral. She is one of the very lucky workers who got public attention and was able to return home after our embassy intervention. I left Kenya to go to Saudi Arabia just with the hope I'll get maybe a better life afterwards. But mine is just to say, if I can just be honest, mine was just a tip of the iceberg. What one at Teseka? People are suffering there. This family in Mariakani is still in pain. They have never heard from the Yakin since she left for Saudi. Basi ni nakuomba, ukangie kati, wangadie hifu ambafo fina kwa huko warabuni. Manake dadangu, utamona kwa picha, vila alifu, sijui ni muzima, sijui wamekufa, sijui iko vipi. Tumengojea kutokea mwezi wa tatu, mpaka sahini mwezi wa tisa, hakuna majibu yoyote. Kila tukifatilizia, tunasukumwa huku na huku, huku na huku, mpaka juzi. Akatumana kwamba watu wende Nairobi, wende wakampoke. Walipo fika Nairobi kwa kweli, hawa kuweza kumupata. Alipo pigiwa simu, wakasema ya kwamba hiyo ndege ilikuwa imemsaha ukule ugaibuni. Sawa alikuwa mesaulua kule ugaibuni, sawa ni sawa. Basi tunangojea ni akuje. Mpaka leo tukiuliza, tunasukuma huku na huku. Hejulikani kule ni mzima ama aliajiriwa na bado haja tuma hata pesa kufikia wakati huo mpaka sahimu. The travel agents are on the receiving end for dumping Kenyan girls in Saudi Arabia without following the laid down rules. Those girls must be allowed to retain their passports within their control. That passport under our Kenyan laws cannot be taken away. An identity document anywhere in the world 
must be allowed to stay with the owner of that identification document. Women being trafficked out of Kenya in, uh, in, uh, in, a, in a way that it is seen as looking for employment, yet in essence it is, it is slavery. Kumekuwa na changamoto ya kuwa maagent wamekuwa wengi na maagent wengi ni gushi. Wale ambao ni wa, wa ukweli ni wachache. Wale wa urongo ni wengi na imekuwa ni kama biashara hawa maagent ya kuchukua hawa sana kwa peleka huko na wakifika huko hawana msimamizi. They don't know where to go. Wakipatikana na shida yote hakuna mahali wanaweza kukimbilia kwa hawakufuata procedure na protocols za sawa sawa. Kewopa is now calling for a total ban on all gulf jobs which have been placing Kenyans in a death trap. Latest cases of mistreatment of Kenyan workers in Saudi Arabia have been condemned by women parliamentarians who are now calling on the government to act and bring the end to the atrocities. Kind of Stefano, Ebru TV.